What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Ignition 2 video. It is currently 11 degrees and it's about, uh, what time is it? 10.08 a.m. This video is supposed to go live at noon. Um, slight delay in posting this because one of the files on my camera went corrupt. It was the lighting file, which is kind of the whole purpose of this video. But a little bit of an update video coming at you on the M3. Did want to update you on two things that I didn't mention in this video. First of all, we have locked down some coilovers for this car, so we will not be at stock ride height for much longer. And two, I guess second of all, if I'm listing correctly, uh, we are prepping to do the subframe job on this car. So there is a, a lot of stuff coming into place there, a lot of parts to be ordered, um, but I'm really excited. I think the subframe video is one gonna be exciting because we're gonna find out if and how many cracks there are in the subframe and two it'll be a fun kind of diy we'll get pow and billy together and uh it'll just be a big party so uh, with that said enjoy the video a couple updates on the e46 if you're not familiar with this car this is a 342 000 mile bmw e46 m3 my buddy harrison actually borrowed it for the week he put about 85 miles on it um, and he was really surprised at the car's willingness to just start up every morning that has been sitting outside since wednesday including through a snowstorm and believe it or not this will be the first startup let's see how it goes that's a beautiful thing right there now i sort of have a uh, a random recounting of events to bring back to you the first one is that we went in and we went ahead and changed the cabin air filter and now what's funny about this is my camera was actually in slow motion for most of it if not all of it After that, we jumped in and changed the engine air filter as well, which of course uh, couldn't go smoothly because there was a uh, strip screw. Oh, uh, the reason this one may not have been taken out before is because it's very round. <laughs> very, very round. Are you recording? Yeah, I like your. Uh, Do I look very good? In I these? like your safety goggles. Yeah, we're uh, so we we got all of this disconnected. There was a ton of gunk in there that we vacuumed up and now this bolt won't come out. So I'm just gonna try to cut a line in it with the Dremel and then hopefully we can just use a flathead uh, for that to come out. Let's see if she comes out with a flathead now. Donde esta a flathead. Wow, oh, this thing is in there. I'm gonna cut more. Solid groove for the screwdriver. There we go. Yay. Science. Science. You weren't wearing your safety goggles though. When I took it out? Oh, you... I had I had them down when I was oh, cutting, okay. don't worry. Look at that. A nice bolt right there. I could honestly put that back in. It's very usable now. And while the vacuum was out, uh, I put together a very important invention. We take a break from the intensive modifications that we're doing to go after these guys. Hello? Go after these guys. There's bugs all in the vent back here. I mean, you see them some there. There's a giant one over there. Here, hold this. Show them my ingenuity. It's a vacuum with a straw attached to it. Very science. Very science. Are you ready? Ready? Alex Sucker 9000. Alex noticed some dirt down here, so the bug sucker is going to work. Oh, baby. That's clean. That is sucked. <laughs> now, with the bugs out of the back window, we moved on to installing some very serious heavy duty mods. Now, the first mod came from my GTI days. When I saw this car had a halogen inner light, I knew I had to do it. My old Mark V looked like this. 
And so I wanted the uh, M3 to have the, kind of the same look. It's a nice Euro look, looks cool, especially when the car is gray or silver. I'm not sure it works so well on like a blue, actually yellow and blue work well together, but like a red car might look a little wonky or like a green one, but um, yellow, silver goes well together. All right, well this clip in the video went corrupt on Wednesday night. Uh, and I had to have the video on Thursday, so that's why this is getting uploaded on Sunday. But, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you about the process here. So, back here, you see this little connector right there? That guy, that's the flash to pass bulb that connects right here. All we did was pull this boot off, and you're able to reach in there. There's a twist lock, or there's a, like a collar on it that you twist to the right. And then, uh, all you do is finagle the bulb out. This side is a little bit easier to see. Um, the That connector right there. That connector right there. Again, in front of it, there's a little twist collar. And uh, then after that, you have yellow flash pass bulbs. Now the fog lights are a little different and much easier. If you look, there's my yellow fogs already on. I'm giving it away, but back in there, there's a, I believe that's an eight millimeter bolt. All you have to do is uh, stick an eight millimeter in there and then the thing just slides out. So let me shut this. And these are Nokia hyper yellow bulbs. That's what it looks like with the fogs on. You notice these are really cloudy and gross. And this is not just because it's salty out. These fog lights are super cloudy and gross, but uh, you can see the effect of the yellow bulb in there. And if I back up and you look at the front of the car all together, it's actually pretty cool to see that uh, that yellow bulb come to life in there. It's a, uh, a really nice look and I think it differentiates the front of the car a little bit. You can see as you kneel down that yellow uh, comes through and then as you go up because the reflection is less, uh, it looks almost silver up here. So silver to yellow. And I think that looks sick. While we were in there, we also went ahead and did the fog lights, uh, which was a challenge to get the bulbs out. They were like fairly sticky in there. Um, but all of those I replaced with Nokia hyper yellow bulbs. Um, the headlight is an H7. I guess the flash to pass is an H7. Uh, and the fog lights are a 9006 bulb. I think a lot of time people get carried away with the yellow bulbs. They either make them too yellow, which just looks horrible, or they make them too bright, which defeats the purpose of having a yellow bulb. Uh, I think the Nokia's find a, a happy balance between them, and I just bought these off of eBay. They happen to be from the same seller, so they ship pretty quickly, um, but no special place to buy the bulbs or anything. Um, if you guys haven't, uh, I've been posting some TikToks with this car. I've been trying to be uh, a, little, uh, a little comedic, let's say, um, and uh, expand my reach on TikTok. So if you wouldn't mind going over, and if you have the app, uh, it's IgnitionTube on there. And then I'm also at IgnitionTubeYT on Instagram if you haven't checked in there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit of a random uh, kind of M3 update, but I'm very excited. We're gearing up to do the subframe in the next few weeks, which is something that I'm both anxious and very excited about. Um, so if you have any advice or anything like that, I uh, would love to hear it. But uh, old girl is still running strong, 342, one something now. Um, and, uh, and I'm really enjoying it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any N3 questions or anything else, leave them down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.